Hello, welcome to Trip Bohemia. So, our today's topic of discussion is what's the scope after mathematics? After BSc in mathematics, that is bachelor's in mathematics or master's in mathematics. And where do you actually stand when you are pursuing a career in mathematics? So, revolving about this notion of mathematics, let me begin with the bachelors. Suppose you are doing your bachelors in mathematics, the next option that you should prefer if you want to make a career in mathematics is the master's degree. Obviously, you will find a lot of job opportunities that I am just going to list that you can continue without your masters but I would prefer you complete your masters and become something stable in mathematics. You gain a good degree and then go ahead in your career. That will make you at a better position. But yes, no doubt mathematics has a wide range of applications. A good mathematician, I mean not exactly in terms of research, but a good mathematics person is required in a lot of fields today. So once you are done with your bachelors, you should look for masters and you are not just restricted to masters in mathematics, that is MSc in mathematics. You may also go, you can go for MCA, that is in computers, masters in IT, MBA or MSc Mathematical Sciences, MSc in Statistics, Economics, the booming and coming up field of actuarial sciences. It's an interesting field. It's related to the finance and insurance and risk management sector. So you can obviously go for that. And there is also a master's and bachelor's degree in actuarial sciences if you are interested in maths towards your bend in financial sector. So you can go for MSc or BSc in actuarial sciences or you can pursue actuarial sciences Altogether, you will have to appear for around 13 or 15 exams. So, it is a different course, you will have to take the membership, take become a fellow and you will have to go step by step in all those exams. So, you can go for that, you can think of that also as an option and plus it is one of the highest paid jobs today. Apart from that, you can go for CA that is Chartered Accountant, you can go for after your masters, if you still want to continue your study in mathematics, you can go for PhD or MPhil in mathematics and not exactly in mathematics, there are various fields that you can choose for your research. Apart from that, there are few research organizations, few government organizations that will value your talent a lot if you are good at mathematics, just like ISRO. DRDO and NEL. ISRO stands for Indian Space Research Organization, DRDO Defense Research Developmental Organization and NEL is a National Aeronautics Limited. So all these are one of the best organizations and you I don't think there goes a day without their mention in the newspaper. There is always something, some new research project, something related to space, related to medicine or something that they are always coming up with which is always there in the newspaper. So you will be very well aware of these three organizations beforehand. Uh, now, when we wind up with a study, there are no other options apart from these trivial ones. Obviously, you can go for research as I mentioned in the beginning, but there are a lot of jobs that will value you. Jobs in the financial sector, in the banking sector, marketing, so as software developers and in a lot of areas. Now, uh, data analysis, it is another booming field that is gaining importance nowadays and will surely gain a lot more importance in the coming few years. Within a decade, it will be at the top surging. So, if you are looking forward to your career, this is another good field. And as an investigator, and there are also government jobs in analysis. As a research analyst, operations analyst, data analyst, business analyst, a financial analyst, a numerical analyst and the list goes on. So. You can find good jobs in every sector, maybe public, maybe private, in any sector, wherever you prefer to find one. Apart from this, insurance and IT no doubt have a lot of scope for you. So if you have stepped in the mathematics sector, you have stepped in a colorful and very multi branch sector, it is open to you and it will open a lot of opportunities for you. And you'll have opportunities in every direction if you want a field job, if you don't want a field job, you can go for marketing, you're going for anything that you want. But required 
is a fact that you should know keep note of at this point and that is you have to decide what will you like with mathematics pure mathematics is a good career to go for but it's more related to research and academia apart from pure mathematics if you're not preferring to go in isro not drdo or wherever you're preferring to go you should know that there are some extra skills that you require and you'll have to see that what part you want to pursue which part of the extra skill you want to have is it computers or is it financial bent or it's more of statistics or more of economics or more of the marketing side and more of the business bent or something you'll have to just find your interest learn some new languages or whatever is required or prerequisite for your course and then move ahead no doubt it's a very welcoming sector but it requires a lot of effort a lot of hard work and a lot of planning uh, there's a very good book I love it a lot and I go through it I think once in a week for sure it's an audio book and it's named the art of exceptional living it's by Jim Rohn and I love the speaker as well it's an amazing book so there is a line from this that I can recall and I want to mention he always repeats this again and again throughout his book those who fail to plan are planning to fail and I really think that that a lot of planning is required and if you are a good planner I am sure you will be at a good place very soon so becoming disciplined becoming a good planner and require acquiring some new skills as per your prerequisite according to your career option that you are choosing and taking into consideration is all important and is if there is anything apart from all that I've mentioned that concerns you and that is related to mathematics you're always welcome you can let me know what is concerning you through the comments through the comment section or you can obviously message through Instagram at the rate Bohemia through Facebook or wherever you find me available you will have all the connectivity options in the description box below all the best for your career in mathematics if you are looking up to it you are at a very good place and obviously you are planning to be disciplined and work hard and don't just get a little scared from the word discipline here discipline does not mean becoming monotonous becoming boring becoming a bookworm not at all discipline means becoming a good person in terms of your good planning that is you get to accumulate your hobbies your new skills your new learning classes if you want to start reading a newspaper if you want to learn a new language if you like playing basketball a guitar or anything a discipline means that you include everything in throughout your day schedule it and then follow it and i'm sure you'll be able to do it all the best so we'll talk about new concepts new concerns in the next video tell in Take care. Trip Bohemia is signing off. Bye-bye.